It's very well understood that as a female ages, there is a decline in egg quality and quantity, making spontaneous pregnancy more difficult, and making miscarriage risk higher. Um, for women that come in who are in their 40s, uh, after a thorough evaluation, often the recommendation is to go through in vitro fertilization where we are able to extract eggs, create embryos, and genetically screen the embryos to make sure that the embryos are in fact genetically normal. Once the patient uh, attains a genetically normal embryo, her pregnancy success rate is age independent. For women in the later 40s or even early 50s who are deemed to be healthy, pregnancy is still an option. Typically these patients go through an egg donation cycle. This is um, a tailored cycle uh, where an egg from a younger woman is, is transferred into the uterus of the female um, and pregnancy is achieved at a very high success rate. So when a woman comes into my office and she's in her 40s, the first thing that we think about is assessment of the ovaries. Um, this is typically done with an ultrasound and with uh, blood testing for something called AMH, anti-malarian hormone, which is a very nice uh, correlative between uh, quantity of eggs. Um, understanding, again, that as a female ages, uh, at times the egg uh, quantity can go down. Um, as a female ages, um, pregnancy can become more difficult, uh, both spontaneously and with fertility treatments. Um, and furthermore, miscarriage risk can go up. So for most individuals in their 40s, the recommendation is to undergo in vitro fertilization, specifically with the goal to create embryos and genetically screen the embryos. For women who are having difficulty conceiving in their 40s, it's important to seek the medical advice of a reproductive endocrinologist who can help evaluate their likelihood for reproductive success.